I want to begin my presentation by quoting Martin Luther King. He said, human progress is neither automatic nor inevitable. Every step towards to the goal of justice requires sacrifices, sufferings, struggling. The tireless extension of passionate concern of dedicated individual. As we celebrate Human Rights Day, it is very important to note that 21 years, many South African citizens are still struggling to live dignified life, and their lives are threatened by the lack of access to rights, to water, and sanitation. Approximately 11% out of 1.4 million of households, uh, formal and informal, still have to be provided with sanitation services. This household have never been a government support sanitation intervention. At least 26% out of 3.8 million of households within formal areas have sanitation services which do not meet the requirement standard due to the deterioration of infrastructure caused by lack of technical capacity to ensure effective operation, time as maintenance, refurbishment, and updating pit empty services and insufficient water resources. The government party the, the governing party thought to destroy the dignity of black people. This evidence is the most degrading lack of basic sanitation services in general and the uh, dehumiliating bucket toilet system. Uh, Madam, uh, Madam Speaker, uh, Deputy Speaker, the bank system is unwanted leaders of deliberate and negligated. Daily, the users of this unhygienic un un uh, sanitation system, as well as workers responsible for collection and disposal of human waste, bucket toilets are subjected to de dehumanizing and unhygienic condition. We believe that every one state has a legal obligation to, to respect protect, fulfill the right of adequate housing and not sponsor, tolerate or carry out forced evictions. This obligation arises from various international and, and national instruments protecting the right of adequate housing and other related women rights. Uh, Deputy Speaker, 20 years into a democracy, this sanitation legacy still possesses a challenge. Deputy Speaker, another evaluation of women rights is that our people are facing that of eviction. As we speak, uh, WinProp we, we PTY has made an application within a high court, evicting more than uh, 380 black household who says who stays at a high point building in Hillbrook, 126 Johannesburg, living in Africa. Investment African uh, also have been issued uh, an eviction in 136 in Johannesburg, uh, evicting more than uh, 450 black informal dwellers portion on 14 of farms report what 127 in Haute. Quit Rental also made an application with court to evict more than 30 and 38 black household. Every important to note that tenants were, were subsidized by the Department of Housing in 2008, and now they have been evicted despite having the deeds, uh, the title deeds of those units. Deputy Speaker, Deputy Speaker, South Africa is facing a huge backlog according to the Financial and Fiscal Commission. In, 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 it, it will cost government an, an estimated 800 billion to, to the eradicate the housing backlog in 2020. Many, money that it is unlikely to be raised on this whole, it is not surprised that the right of access to adequate housing it is the most frequently litigated social economy right in South Africa. Eviction, I quote as the EFF, as we advocate to the, 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 the uh, as we, have, we, we advocate a progression of land without compensation for equal distribution, and this is to be essential to end class and race apartheid. We will continue to fight women dignity, equality by people living in formal settlement through South Africa. We will continue to, to fight for free quality education, healthcare, houses, and sanitation. We will fight for more improvement security laws, and we will make sure that this illegal building of water and electricity in South Africa is come to an end. Thank you very much.
we, we, we should continue 